Good morning. This is the Lonely Poet with the Poetry Show. Okay, I am without hat and I am looking at something, you know. Uh, I think I prematurely started. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see. I see now, but I don't see any chatters chatting. You know, usually it comes. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, welcome, welcome to the show. I am going to actually do a little poetry presentation to all the lazy ass unemployed people who are sitting out there, uh, who are trying to view me. Uh, so now you know how bored and desperate they are to see something different other than television in which, you know, you can see, you know, winter is still not gone and I'm just uh, trying to adjust myself. Uh, this is a natural me. Okay, that's, that's, that's what people like. Um, and uh, I think I may have to adjust a bit because my chair is really, really, really moving. Okay, well, there's a cushion sitting in there that moves. So, there you go. See, these are all the natural things that happen instead of, you know, people sitting in full suit and um, there are women sitting with uh, uh, wonder bras, you know, projecting whatever they don't have as what they have or things like that you know on television and uh, uh, news readers you know with uh, uh, I don't know how much time they spend you know by about 4 30 in the morning they are there in front of a TV with puffed of eyes but you know a ton of makeup otherwise and I was like I always wonder wow how does how do they do this because for me to get ready in the morning it will take about three hours <laughs> <laughs> and I don't wear any makeup. Uh, uh, I, I try to adjust that time and it doesn't work. So, um, million, trillion, trillion, <laughs> gazillion, I don't know what, how do you say it, what more. The question came, why I don't use any, uh, or the reason, was, okay, maybe I may have to rephrase that question. The question was, why I only use uh, European Americans as models uh, when I take a model you know pictures you know which I actually post on uh, Facebook and uh, uh, Twitter and uh, uh, my blog uh, all the pictures I actually post as part of you know lonelypoet.com lonelypoet.org lonelypoet uh, I mean poetrybox.us these are all my sites uh, why I only use European Americans uh, or Europeans or you know if I'm going to use a color you know uh, people of fair skin uh, even in from Indian women I posted pictures of them uh, they all look very fair uh, reason is first of all uh, there are dark skinned ladies out there whom I would like to post their pictures but many of the pictures just did not connect me to a poetry, you know, to, to, to a poem. So, uh, some of the poems, you know, I have posted, you know, ladies of, you know, different color, um, Indian uh, people from India, Native Americans, African Americans. I have posted a set of African Americans pictures uh, once for a poem, uh, I, you know, I don't really discriminate when it comes to color or race or anything like that. Um, my, but I do discriminate, you know, if, if there are, if you give me 10 different colors of pictures, I look at it and see, okay, how do I connect to that picture uh, than through my poetry or through whatever I have written. So there's a specific poem I have wrote and that specific poem how do I connect to that girl through that poem? That's what I look. You know, forget about any other definitions you can bring forward. That are all they are all your definition. I'm going to take only my definition. Okay, you can define it in million different ways and go to uh, heaven or hell or uh, anywhere else in that matter. If you want, you can go there with with your definition. I have heard a lot of definitions from coming in from there and I'm not going to even look into that chat because that chat is already filled with uh, you know a whole lot of people but thank God most of the trolls are gone most of it I don't know whether all of them are gone you know they may actually come back you know they you know they but right now as it is a closed uh, chat and close to board uh, many of the trolls are really getting deleted uh, 
Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean people cannot express their opinion if they think that uh, you know there is vulgarity here or seeing my face is the most vulgar thing ever. <laughs> you know, uh, so you know, okay, you know, so be it. That that's not a, that's not a problem. You know, the thing is when you you know abuse somebody, um, you know, or offend somebody for no reason. Said so all that. Coming back to the point, I'm not going to de detach from the point. I'm not going to differ from the point. The reason is that I mean, I need to, you know, I need to connect to that girl or the image through my poem. So I write a poem. I don't look at a picture and write a poem. Okay, I would love to, but you know, there are hundreds of pictures out there. So I may end up sitting and looking at each and every picture because each and every person have their own unique personality uh, some people actually fail that personality to be shown like uh, uh, TV personalities you know if I'm actually looking at a TV personality uh, there are very pretty ladies you know even today morning I was watching it uh, pretty ladies you know on television uh, but I don't know for some reason I don't really connect with them because they look so artificial they look maybe in a natural environment if I see them uh, in reality, in real life, you know, I may actually be able to connect to them better. Uh, very rarely, I have, you know, when I, you know, especially when I'm watching them on TV, they will be like sitting like this, and they can't even, they don't even look aside. They look on, 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 onto a, onto a, onto a camera. Their eyes are fixed right onto the camera. You know, pretty much it looks as if they are looking right on to, into my eyes. That's what I feel. Uh, and you know what is very uncomfortable when somebody is sitting like this and speaking whatever they can, uh, whatever that is pre-written, scripted and approved by a bunch of producers and their editors uh, and literally coming and scrolling through the thing, they are very, you know, aggressively looking at it. You know, I'm actually reading this news, you know, I, you know, some guy, some politician in uh, Washington DC got caught for you know, child pornography, uh, whatever it is, you know, the news they are reading. That is a problem, you know. So, when, if I do that, I mean, then, you know. See, I would like, you know, people to really, really connect to, connect, uh, to connect to that. I don't, there is no way with that just segment which you've seen. If you just edit it, go back and back and back and forth and, you know, just, just watch me saying that. It is pretty much the same, you know, but I, I was like, okay, sure, you know, take a breath, you know, give me, give me what you are and then tell me the news. I don't want you to read out the news. Tell me the news. That's what I... So, I don't connect to them. When I actually take a picture, it is pretty much that what is going to come. This is the reason why I go to... Uh, even though weird websites, you know, there are very bad websites. Um, I used to go to those places to actually sit and talk to a person. When I'm actually sitting in, in front of the camera and the other person is also sitting in front of the camera, and she is at ease, you know, so to get a woman to at ease in some of the websites where it is soft porn websites, uh, some websites where they became, they later, initially they started as, you know, um, girls can show things, now girls must show things, when, I, when that is the case, I say no, you know, I don't want to go there, because the problem is, it is going to distract me, first of all, second, the girl is going to be very uptight, you know, when, you know, she's not wearing much, so, uh, once in last year, especially, you know, the girl Irina, um, Irina had this habit of, you know, taking off clothes. Not habit, I mean, that she she's forced to. Uh, once, you know, when I went there, you know, she's wearing a very, very, very small dress. Uh, and she's not a very small girl, even though she's very young. She, so she was only 19, 20 years old at that time. So, uh, she was wearing this uh, this very tight, you know, like I said earlier, wonder bra kind of thing. Uh, and even though she's a busty woman, um, you know, she's very thin. But, you know, when it comes to her, you know, I have to tell this. This is my show, isn't it? <laughs> when it comes to her breasts, you know, they are not that small. So, it is very projected out. And I was like, okay, you know, what am I supposed to do with her? She was like, you are not really comfortable with this. I said, I'm not really comfortable watching you uh, sitting there. It's like, you're beautiful. You have beautiful breasts. I don't want to really see the breasts because my idea is to actually look at you, talk to you in, a, in like I talk to a friend. 
So she's like, what am I supposed to do? I said, okay, what is the costumes or dress you wear when you go out into the street? See, think that it is summer. See, it is actually winter. Think that it is summer. In summer, what is the kind of dress you wear? Just, just, just go and you know, I will, I will give you the time. Just leave the camera because it is my decision at that time whether she can leave the camera or not. Um, I said, go get a thing, and she went and took a T-shirt and put on that T-shirt, and then completely changed. And I said, and after chatting for another ten minutes with her, uh, I asked her, "Have you seen yourself on the cam?" She's like, "Yeah, I know what you mean." You know, I, I, she's, she's smiling. She's just naturally talking to me. I said, "This is what I want. This, you know, is going to inspire me." down the road you know she, she's a she's a fantastic lady i have to tell that even though uh, she did not betray me even though i told her at that time you are betraying me you know i'm you know, I just i just pissed her off a lot <laughs> but she was a very nice girl uh, forced into many different scenarios you know so um i would have, I, I helped her a bit in a big way uh, then i ran out of options you know so i was like okay i gotta i gotta let you go you are on your own i'm on my own you know let's let's go so, but in the, I'm just giving you an example of, you know, how easy it can become. Uh, there are scenarios when I actually asked, you know, there was this girl once, not this one girl, many girls, you know, uh, they are very sleepy because they are forced into this work, you know, where they have to go and work in websites. They have the specific hours given to them, like in one week, they have to work like 50 hours. They haven't made the hours, you know, because they have schools, you know, they have other jobs, things like that, and they couldn't make it. And some girls are sitting like, <sighs> even recently I saw a girl, you know, who was like <sighs> sitting and sleeping and on the camera. And if sleeping on camera is not a good idea. Uh, so uh, once uh, I was, I actually took a girl and said, okay, I'm going to help you. I asked her, do you know what exactly it means by power nap? And a power nap means, okay, you go and sleep for like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, minimum of 15 minutes, it can go up to 20, 25 minutes, it won't go beyond half an hour. You just sleep that much, when you are totally tired and totally sleepy, you just power nap, that means you just sleep. Most of the time the power nap is done just sitting. Like you may have seen me in the sitting in my, this thing up, <laughs> you know, I'll be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I don't really drool <laughs> uh, during my sleep, uh, so I, you know, seeing me drooling on through on on a cam is very hard. But otherwise, you know, you have you, you can easily see on my security cam, you know, live then camera on my uh, all my websites, you know, lonelypoet.com or uh, you know, uh, lonely uh, poetry box or lonelypoet.com, uh, all these sites. Uh, you know, have a link or you know somewhere in there that says live den video. Click on that, you can see when I am in the in the den during, especially during daytime. I'll be here. I'll be working. Some there are times when I'm w actually working. When I'm working, then I'll be very busy typing in. I won't even look at the camera. Otherwise, I will look at the camera. And somebody is actually that's my brother. Uh, okay, sending me a video. Uh, so yeah, you know, we brothers send all kind of videos to each other. Now, coming back to things, you know, my back aches too. Uh, coming back to why I don't use models uh, from uh, from from different colors. Uh, European Americans, you know, attracts me or not specifically? No, uh, I have dated African Americans. I have. You know, there are a lot of attractive girls from India, Pakistan, uh, South America. You know, they are all very attractive people. That's that's not the thing. There is another reason for this. Many sisters, you know, which I call them sisters. Many sisters have an issue. <laughs> you know, if they are beautiful and you know, they tend to have the feeling that you know they are beautiful. Take off my clothes. Most of the pictures you may have seen in uh, my website is pretty much clothed. And I, I prefer, if even today I saw a beautiful picture, very wonderfully taken. But in the picture, unfortunately, her bra is showing up. Because of the dress or some, some sort of a top she is wearing, her bra is showing. So I said, okay, I don't want that picture. I'm not going to use that picture. Or maybe I should use that picture right, so that you can see. Uh, but, you know, the, it is showing. So that, that, that's, that's why, you know, it was a no, 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 I said, okay, no, I don't want that. 
See, that's how I actually, so it's too revealing pictures, or too much of revealing pictures will only distract the reader. And if I'm actually taking as a model, I'm actually going to connect to it. If the girl is too much exposed, it will only distract a person from the actual poetry. I don't want that. I am I am writing something so that people will enjoy my poetry. You know, if they want to you know, see, you know, sexuality of a woman or a man or, you know, a man, woman, you know, they can go, there are websites, you know, where you can go and see it for free. <laughs> so, go there, you know, they will show it to you. Or, you know, if you pay them, you know, to, 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 you know, $5, you know, they will show everything. <laughs> so, uh, just you watch, enjoy and go away. You know, I don't know what you want to do with it. Uh, I don't do anything with it because I don't, you know, really go to any of these websites or any website in that matter to see the sexuality of anyone. So that is my stance. So when I'm standing in that and I'm showing, actually putting in revealing pictures along with it, uh, uh, that's hypocrisy. I don't want to do that. Um, so if I get really, really connecting pictures, I definitely will post it. So that's that's my stance. So said that, okay, there is a little announcement here, you know, which I have announced a little earlier. So I'm going to bring webcam max a little quickly and go to play something for you guys so i hope the audio is not there see that is a little announcement you know it is an advertisement I have to really pay these guys to <laughs> to get that thing of my own. So I'm going to do that. You know, I may, I think I have to pay like fifty dollars uh, to get that video because I made the I made the video. I didn't really make the. I took the video from a website, and then I as a promo. I think that is where I that's where I got it from, and I actually put in all these writings and everything on it. You can do that. You know, it's for, it only costs you like fifty dollars to. You need to pay fifty dollars for a lifetime license to get that thing done. So. Uh, I haven't really paid them yet, but you know, I'm in the process of paying them. Um, so that flames from Frost, uh, still in the editing process because the reason was the original flames from Frost only had 26 poems, exactly 26 poems. <laughs> then I'm adding poems to it. So some of the poems are still in the process of being edited. That's why even though I announced it last year, I am editing it. And there's another book I announced, you know, which is also going to be a Kindle. Uh, all are going to be Kindle, you know, all are like e-books, you know, Kindle, no, uh, you know, um, Apple Pay, uh, Apple Books or whatever it is you call it, you know, iBook. <laughs> uh, it will all be coming in those things, you know. I don't want to print a book because it creates a lot of hassle. I have to go and to bookstores where people don't even know who I am, you know, sit in a court, you know, like the newsreader buy my book i'll sign for you who the fuck are you, you know? <laughs> that's what people will ask i have done that i've been there done that you know the definitely people will be looking at you who the fuck are you you know they don't know me i don't know them if i'm in my town okay maybe you know in the barnes and over you know in bay shore you know if i go there there are people who come there who know me you know they may actually come and buy maybe 10 books then I don't want to t sell 10 books. I want to sell, you know, some books so that the publisher will make money. When it is a Kindle, it's not a lot for them to actually spend to publish a book, uh, not printed version, e-book. And many people are comfortable reading, you know, e-books, you know, like, you know, in their computer, in their tablets, you know, and there are e-readers, you know, which they actually buy the fire. Uh, Amazon, you know, Firestorm, or I don't know what you call it, uh, the Kindle readers, you know. So, um, so you 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 can buy those and you can read it in that. So that's where it is going to come. The other book I'm planning or actually working on uh, is um, driving through the roads of the American dream. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of uh, a stretch because. I am taking some of these poems right now, which is written with a romantic context. Some of those poems can be connected to different places. So those are the poems. I am in the process of actually narrowing down to how many poems. May come to about 60 to 65 poems in that book. 
uh, if I come out with that, you know, probably by Thanksgiving or end of the year, I probably will be able to bring you out a book called the driving. Then I'm actually going to rewrite it. There will be a context into it. If there is the chance, I may put even pictures into it. Uh, to, so that people will understand, okay, what was the poem? What was that drive? Because I am one person who have driven to many, many different places in America to, to, to work. So it was like a plight. I came to United States in 1998 and then we, by, by the end of 1998 started moving to different places connected to my work. Uh, so somebody once actually told me, uh, because I wrote the test of the Devils in their story in poetry, they said, okay, you have taken a plight like this does in, in that, because she was looking for work and she was going from place to place to place. Um, where she was not really the perfect person to do the work. Uh, whether I was the perfect person to do the work, I was the perfect person to do the work. Whether did I do the work so perfectly? Not so perfectly, because I'm not very good at working. I'm not really good at, you know, doing what I do. Uh, still, I do a good job, you know, for some reason. It all works out in the end. Even though I am, you know, I, I show up late most of the time. I screw up many things in the in, in the process. Uh, when I, I write a document, it will have five different, you know, fonts <laughs> and different sizes of fonts and things like that. <laughs> yeah, but you know, is that you know, is it something anybody ever cares about? No. There are people, you know, especially from India. Those motherfuckers have no other business other than looking at, oh, that font size is one point, uh, you know, bigger than the other font size. I'll say, okay, unzip yourself and look into your own dick, motherfucker. That's how I lose my job. Now you know. <laughs> so I hate Indians, okay? No, not the entire Indian people from India, okay? I hate Indians who work with me, okay? Those are fucking assholes. I don't want to deal with them. That's why I said, okay, very soon I'll be leaving the IT field completely because the IT field is filled with these fucking assholes, okay? I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to ever work with them. I don't want to even connect to them. Personally, even if I go to a place and I see an Indian uh, family coming around, I'll take a cover and move around and say, and even if they come and say, what do you want to, you know, do you want to something, you know, I speak with a different accent. <laughs> so that they may think, oh, oh this guy is not Indian. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you speak with the Middle Eastern accent or South American accent, you know, you know, I can easily imitate that, you know, when I, especially in a real life environment, I can. And uh, I speak with an accent and just move on. I, I don't want to even deal with these idiots because they are from an IT world. Most of the Indians who are here, I am also an IT person, but I don't want to deal with these idiots because, you know, they are fucking assholes. That's the reason why. Okay, call me an asshole too. I am a fucking asshole. Because here's the thing. One dog don't want to see another dog in the same way. One asshole don't want to deal with another asshole. So I don't want to deal with assholes because I am an asshole. I am a bigger asshole than you are. So that's why I don't want to deal with them. Forget it. So, now I'm deviating from subject after subject after subject. Oh, that's my show. Anyway, you know, that's what people like about my show. I deviate, but I come back. <laughs> Coming back to it. Okay. Sisters. Sisters always have problems, you know, so they, there are sisters, you know, who show boobs, you know, there are sisters who don't wear any pants. Um, yeah, the, you know, one girl, you know, once actually was, uh, when I was in a couple of days back, I was telling Bill, you know, he's an African-American. Uh, I told him, I have, a, I had a problem once, you know, I was fasting and I'm, you know, working in a store. Uh, and you know, I'm about to break the fast. I'm almost there. Uh, there was a girl called Megan. I think her name was Megan. Uh, she was with me uh, and here's a woman who comes you know she is a heavy woman I don't have any problem with the heavy woman or anything like that I don't I don't I don't discriminate anyway she's African-American standing in front of me started adjusting her I was like oh <laughs> and Megan uh, I think her name was Megan I, I forgot uh, she was she was almost giving me a glass of water <laughs> because you know yeah, because I she knows like the fast will break almost instantaneously if I look I said okay see the thing is the difference between this is I can see I cannot look <laughs> see seeing is one thing looking is another thing so and, uh, and 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 she could have easily put on a pants okay put on a pants she's sweaty her sweat is kind of drooling through her big legs uh, and uh, 
she is adjusting her you know whatever panties or whatever she was wearing underneath i don't know whether she was wearing anything very small shorts well, everything is can be seen so that, that that's that's how people come there so i don't want to put a picture of that kind of a woman along with the poem but if the poem have any relevance to that yes i will put it that's my point now you have seen all these things you know let me go and uh, try to show you a picture uh, I am going to have to change this very fast. There, this picture was there in a, in a, in a previously on Facebook. Uh, this is the picture I am going to associate this poem with. I am going to show you a poem, so I know that is a picture, and you know it kind of flips, keep on flipping. Uh, for some reason, it kind of automatically takes it. I don't know how to fix that. Somebody told me he was going to teach me everything about webcam max. Uh, today, we actually did, even before the show, we actually did a thing, you know, to see if OBS Studio, I can add this virtual cam thing so that, you know, that can be used as a, but not on, it is not possible on Ubuntu. So I cannot do it on Ubuntu. I go out of there, I'm here on Windows. See, I am, this is how, I want somebody to tell me news. I know I want somebody to do a TV show rather than going uptight wearing a freaky coat and suit and tie. I, I, I don't mind wearing a, you know, a coat, but you know, why you wear a tie? You know, and uh, you know, some of the guys have big chins and everything. You see, if I put on a tie, you see, if I put, and I put on tie, I look like this. My, you know, double chin will actually will, will be projecting out. So I don't you I, I look like a you know freaky fuck okay <laughs> I'm using a lot of bad words in this show <laughs> I look at, you see I I, I I I like to be very free okay why 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 don't we why is that how everything should be I I mean in, in, in hundred years back yes uh, not now I mean this you know move on guys move on to this world uh, now I'm going to touch a subject which I will elaborate in another show probably. Uh, like we started here um, now where are we we are at 26 minutes okay uh, what I want to really really tell is the system you know I, I spoke about it many times I wrote about it uh, now I am actually going to touch it briefly we are living in systems and things that are built maybe 100 150 years back and i want the new generation to come out with ideas that will actually put those things that was built which worked in very well behind and bring new ideas new methodologies through which education is possible uh, business how business is done because we have new technology that enables us to work from home um, because there are many times when I work from home, like I said, you know, I sit in this place and work. Um, so, is it really necessary for people to really wake up, you know, at say 6 o'clock in the morning or 5.30 in the morning, get ready, uh, be in the office at 8 o'clock and, you know, meetings. Instead, you know, why don't you just be casual? Why don't you just sit at home and, you know, take the this thing uh, have an office area where you can go you have some privacy make a phone call see the person in front talk to them um, you know any presentation you have in your computer which you want to make if you're in an office you still have to connect to something so that people can see inside the computer or on a screen but either way you are presenting and they can see that's that's idea they are going to see they can see what you're presenting you can talk to them face to face they can see you you can see them uh, or the others you need to have those kind of technology incorporated into your work um, whether it is IT work whether it is business work uh, instead of you know everybody getting together in the morning gossiping and uh, saying other things um, eating a lot of weird things like donuts and other unhealthy things uh, spe speaking doing unhealthy things you know, when a woman comes, you know, wearing a small skirt, you know, the guy will be totally turned on. He can't even speak. You know, I have seen that happening in my my in my real life work. You know, where a woman comes, you know, wearing a very small skirt, uptight. You know, beautiful. These ladies are beautiful. 
um, they are highly, highly educated but still I don't know they want to attract somebody wearing all these stockings and all those things uh, you know when a woman wears a stocking you know it look, looks really old uh, because but, but there are some legs you know where a stocking is a necessity because, <laughs> because those legs are really bad <laughs> so you know they wear a stocking and you know walk with it but there are you know girls who are very thin um, you know they 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 when they wear stockings you know very good shaped uh, legs you know and long shaped legs wearing a stocking yeah looks good um, but you know not all legs look good wearing a stocking about 99 percent of the legs looks really bad wearing a stocking maybe because i don't like stocking there are some guys who get turned on by it but that's their problem but what i am saying is you know, then they are turned on. They cannot say anything. Instead, okay, if the girl is sitting somewhere in work and wearing a leg, just casual dress, you really look at that girl in a casual way, rather than in a sexual way or in a, you know, in in a uh, in a turned on way. You know, that's what I can say. Sexual way is you know, um, instead of looking at her as an employee, looking at her uh, as a co-worker, um, that is not that you know that you know that worker we need to move on from that system and a lot of these sexual harassment you know me too network you know everything is going on hashtag me too you know all these things where happened because of this environment where we go into a closed environment you know like you remember in Seinfeld one of the Seinfeld episodes uh, where George Costanza says, that's what they do in the zoo, put them in the same cage, <laughs> you know, you put them all together in a very closed environment, compressed air flowing into it, you know, with I don't know whatever smell that is coming in, many people wear, you know, perfumes and many people wear, uh, you know, colognes that are, you know, so, you know, hormones or things like that, that can actually turn on your hormones, you know, those kind of things, you know, you go with all these things and you sit there, this is what you get, eventually you are going to make that mistake, you know, oh, catch your boobs or catch your ass, there you go, sexual harassment, you are fucked up, man, you know, you are completely screwed, so I'm not blaming, you know, women for this, I'm not blaming men for this, you put them together, two strangers together, and when one is powerful, a woman is powerful. I have seen women, women taking many young guys, go oh, and fuck them up, and you know those guys eventually will be sitting in some corner of his smoking marijuana. I say, I say, what? What happened to you? I have to forget all this shit, man. All the shit I have done. Okay, that happens. And the same way, many women get raped in in, in the office environment, and uh, eventually come back and say, "Okay, yeah, it all happened and things like that." I said, "No, it's not your fault. You are not. You are a victim. Okay, you are a victim of of a system. It's not the man. It's not the woman. It's a system that is the problem here. We, as human beings, should change that system. We have the power to change that system. Okay." This is United States of America. This country belongs to the people. We, the people, decide what to do or what should happen. We have to take control of those things in our hands and say, we are going to change this system so that a man will not overpower a woman, a woman will not overpower a man. A man and a woman, they are equal. They should be equally paid. You know, the equal paid thing I already talked, you know, a while back. The equally paid for whatever work they do, we have to decide right now. And we have to take action right now. If we don't take this action right now, another generation is going to be lost in this stupidity. Okay? There are a lot of religious zealots saying that okay, women are not equal. Women should be just sitting at home, you know, you know, may cooking. You know, when this was told by Middle Easterners, they, they said, okay, it is a problem with Islamic religion. Then uh, it, when it was told by Indians, you know, it was told, you know, because of the Hindu religion, you know, overpowering. When it was told by Japanese people, they say, you know, I, I have got a Japanese man telling me directly on my face, you know, I don't really want to go down to Japan because... Uh, go back to Japan because they look down on women. My, I don't want those men looking down on my 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 girls. You know because he got three 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 yeah, beautiful girls. Uh, you know he's married to a Japanese woman, and his wife is standing beside me, and he's saying I don't want to go back there because I don't want you know to you know men there looking down on my 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 girls. He's absolutely right. So uh, here's the thing. You don't have to. We don't have to do all that thing. You know, say, 
men and women can come together and work together. Maybe right, till this day we tried putting them all together into one environment, one room and try to get work done. Eventually we ended up with a lot of Me Too movements. Okay, I support the Me Too movement, you know, because not because somebody harassed me or not because somebody asked me to give me a blow jump. You know, that's not the reason nobody asked me. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't dated anybody at work in my life except one. One. That was, you know, we, we all make one mistake, you know. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> so that is another long story. But here's the thing. This system change should happen and I need ideas from those 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 folks who are sitting there they are not too young okay they are not too old uh, to actually write this write ideas bring it in and let's see how it all you know how how different ideas comes up uh, now the poem okay I've shown the picture of the girl let's see okay uh, let me take a little grip of my you know tea. it's almost over <clears throat> because right after this I need to go and get ready it's already 10 o'clock because by 11 30 I'm going to be reaching the uh, Miller Park for the game because I'm just today the game is at 12 40 I think so let's bring the poem up I'm going to read the poem and I'm going to wrap this uh, where is that? There you go. The name of the poem is Autumn Flower. Bloom, O oh flower, bloom, into my heart bloom. Silence all around us crawl, and petal by petal open, seeing the morning of fall and the falling dew she caught. Summer and spring into history faded, winter took the armor of northern wind to lash. In between, like an old man in the pack, fall came, filled colors, kissed many warm cheeks, dropped the honey in the heart of the flowers, brought the morning dew with moonlight filled. Oh, blink my eyes not even once, as carefully watched even the last petal unfold. What care I gave and let the plant grow and flower. And what wonderful beauty in front of my eyes I see. Then in mind a little whisper I heard. Oh, in the world a lot of things you see and hear. In this world beauty in strange ways you will see. None is yours to own, for in your hands the flower will die and will rot and perish into stinking crops. Let the flower hold up her beauty for the world to see and their enjoyment as happiness you take in peace. No more arguments to my conscience I made as slowly away from the pretty flower I fade. A sight I may not see in full bloom another time but the spirit of her beauty and the love I felt forever in my soul like a star will shine and stay. The poem, okay, I didn't say anything about this poem, okay. This poem was written, this is, this is a poem I wrote because I liked a girl at that time, you know, when I wrote this, it was I think 2007 or 2008 when I wrote this poem. Liked a girl, she was, you know, as usual, you know, young girl, <laughs> uh, not too young, uh, but, you know, she, 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 she wanted to, we, we, we were, we were really connected. But there is a point at which I know, okay, yeah, this has to end. Um, and this is the let go, where I understood. Uh, this is a girl who is having a lot of priorities, a lot of uh, incredibly talented girl. You, she need to, she need to uh, be out there and the only hindrance that can come in for her is me. And, uh, and I, I decided, okay, I'm not going to be that hindrance. Let her be who she want to be. Uh, and that's, that's the way life should be. Like I, earlier I said, you know, down you can actually go and connect it back to what I said right before I started the poem about the system because she is part of 
a system and in that she cannot change that system she sits in that system she lives in that system she thrives in that system and uh, whether she is going to be successful or a failure i'm not going to even say a word about it whether she succeeded or not because i'm not 100% sure where she is right now uh, so uh, but you know um, to be to be very 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 upfront and honest you know if she was very successful i would have known and the world would have known uh, so she she didn't really made it all the way up uh, but you know probably she is somewhere in between she is going to make it one day because she is talented uh, so that's why i am actually saying this is not mine to actually own you know this is like you know you help a flower grow uh, the plant you know you take a rose uh, a bush and just plant it you know in 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 spring and it grows and when it grows up you know you plant your flower you actually water it you actually give fertilizers you no know, food everything you know you give it and then there is a flower that comes when the flower that comes out you know if you cut the flower and keep it then the problem is it is only you are going to see in your house or you know whoever comes into your house but if it is out there you know the flower may get eaten by things you know moth and everything but there is a whole lot of nature out there that is going to enjoy this flower let it be part of that let it you know flourish in the full of it and then it is going to perish like everything else that's what the thought you know that came to about this poem so this is this is that poem and uh, the autumn flower uh, there are rare flowers who actually bloom in autumn i have seen it in wisconsin mm, so that's the reason why i wrote that too now going back to a little uh this is you know i'm i'm going to do a regular show if possible every day and i'm going to bring some poem i'm going to run out of the, all these old poems because i'm almost done with all the list of notes and i was going through the notes even today morning i'm almost out of ideas not ideas i mean i'm an all almost out of those poems which are sitting in the notes which is not available for public to see so those are the ones i'm bringing it to lonelypod.com uh then i'm going to go back to facebook you know and i'm going to look through poems which i can actually extract it out and bring it in so that is going to go through those those things are going to go through the sometime mid may so after mid may it is ramadan when during ramadan there are no shows there are no poems there is not going to be even a, any update on my blog or anything uh so it's just going to be fasting time so that's when everything comes to a grinding halt the world and me are in a different frequency at that time so that goes through mid june and then afterwards i'll be coming back with the brand new poems you know which i wrote mostly in the fall and winter of 2017 18 early, you know that comes in so those poems will be coming out at that time so that's why in summer so otherwise it will be an explosion of poems you know in one stretch you know that's not that's not advisable so i at least one or two poems a week will be coming from that point onwards uh then it all depends on you know how the availability is but there will be regular shows because usually me is available let me see how far you stream will go uh because ibm is the one who are dealing with it so ibm is another uh, big guys you know monsters and like i said yesterday i am also going to really do some research on how to actually do my own shows uh so uh without taking a lot of band words and without spending a lot of money uh so how can we save uh, a lot of money been individually doing you know this is not like you know going to a shared website where we all share no individually from people's computer with how can they do this that's what i'm actually looking at um uh, we need to have some sort of script and everything made available to all the people um i will work on it and get these things through uh there are ideas that are coming to me from different uh, areas uh, and we will coordinate with them even i may spend a little money to actually get these scripts and other things written uh, if necessary you know if you you know if i if it is a one time payment of some some amount of money so that some guy can actually come and write it for me oh yeah i will i will that will be preferable but if i have time i will do it by myself so that's where things are you know now i don't have a good thought to actually leave you with because this is wednesday uh wednesday is a hum day uh, so uh, i am not going to hum very much today <laughs> uh, i am going to actually go for a game and i think by the time i get out of the game it will be snowing 
Uh, so I don't know the walk for love may not really happen. I call it walk for love. Uh, may not happen in the mall. Uh, I'll be at home probably by the end of the day. Or you know, may I may go there to 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 just hang out. Let's see how things evolve. Uh, it depends on how things are outside when I come out of that game. But anyway, I'll be at the game. Okay. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday. Bye bye.